Hey, Carly, what's the last thing to go through a cicada's mind when it hits your windshield? Um, probably like, oh no, a windshield. It's ass. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, <laughs> that does make sense. That joke will never get old. <laughs> it's a good one. I like uh, it. But, you know, I feel so dumb because I think I've heard a variation of that joke and I should have seen that coming, but <laughs> damn. Okay. <laughs> It's so violent. <laughs> yeah, kind of. to start off the show with <laughs> something graphic. Yeah. You know, I've heard a similar one. It's like, um, what did the fish say when it hit a br- when it hit a concrete wall? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And we don't have cicadas here. They're mostly, you know, Midwest. Oh, thank goodness, because they freak me out. But you know what we do have here? Our Mormon mm. crickets. Yes. Yeah. And do you remember when we went to, I think it was Utah, Last, and we saw a whole bunch of them outside of that gas station, mm-hmm. just splattered. <laughs> yeah, they Gosh, hit your windshield. They were gross. And I guess they're not as bad as like <clears throat> love bugs in Florida. Google that one if you want. Yeah, like, and they have acidic blood, so they you, you got to wash them off quick, or they'll, they'll melt eat your paint. Your car? I don't know. Whoa. No, not, I don't not through the car. I don't want to exaggerate, well. but. I guess they're a big pain in the ass, but uh, crazy. Mormon crickets are in Idaho, Utah, and Nevada, mm-hmm. and they're swarming again. This is about the time of year they swarm. And look at this. Now, this video is from IDOT, the Idaho Department of Transportation, uh-huh. two years ago. Watch this for a second. They're using a snow plow Just grow. to clean them off the road. And do you hear that crunching? That's either ah. the crunching of the crickets or the scraping of the blade. Blade on the asphalt. Uh. I'm, I'm hoping it's that because so both of them give me those like heebie-jeebie shivers where you get like the goosebumps and stuff. But uh-huh. ugh, I don't like it. I don't mm. like it. Fresh cricket tacos. I mean, realistically, with all the cicadas and crickets, I think it's even more of a sign that it's time to switch to insect I, protein. I will never become an insectivore. I couldn't. I would uh, I, I would just, probably starve. Yeah. Like, you know, here's the thing. I think I could do it if it was powdered and, like, added to stuff. Even if I knew it was in there, I think I could handle that because it's the texture that would freak me out the most. Well, it's the you idea. Know? And we're going to – let's see. We had – this past <clears throat> week we had gator. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that. We had a turkey egg today. We did, and it was really good. From the Idaho Falls Farmer's Market. And some goat milk. And some goat milk. So I'm kind mm-hmm. of getting past my, you know. Yeah. I'm kind of getting past it a little bit. Right. I get that. But I guess Mormon crickets are neither crickets. Uh, they're more like the Katie did family. Oh, really? And I and I don't think they're Mormon. Well, you don't know. But they <laughs> don't assume. But they are the crickets. They are the locusts <laughs> or the whatever. The, the, they they are the plague that uh, were featured in the Miracle of the Gulls. Oh, okay. Eighteen forty eight. Yeah, wow. when when the seagulls came down and <gasps> right. ate all the crickets and saved the crop that year. Right. Yeah, yeah. these are these are the same ones. See, and everyone kind of shits on seagulls. Yeah, everyone kind of yeah. shits on seagulls, but I like seagulls. I like seagulls too. I think they're nice. Everybody calls them the the rats of the rats, rats of the of sea, flying rats. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with magpies. Everyone hates magpies, and I get that they shit everywhere. But really, I think they're kind of pretty birds, and I don't mind having them around. I was sitting in my car once in a park in Salt Lake City, waiting for the fireworks to mm-hmm. start, and um, it's in Sugar House. What park is that? Oh, Sugar House Park, I think. Oh. But um, we had gotten some chicky nuggies. Ooh, yum. And there's a couple seagulls flying around, and <laughs> I, I threw one out at the window. And God, that's kind of like making them eat their own cousin. I, until I rethought about it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you're feeding fowl to fowl. Yeah, that's kind of f***ed up. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I know that birds tend to be more cannibalistic than... You know, people, obviously, but... Yeah, well, and I imagine a lot of nature, just like last week's bear mm-hmm. with the ducklings in the zoo oh, enclosure, so a lot of them are just opportunistic yeah. feeders. Yeah. I've seen a horse eat a, a little chicky before. Yeah. Have you seen that video? I've heard of that, too. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Oh, and you were talking about how dolphins were assholes. Oh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Pelicans are, too. Oh, yeah, the one that tried to eat the duckling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, they saved that duckling. <laughs> Right. Yeah. You know, I was actually just talking to someone to like just yesterday about how I wish that more documentary crews would just step in and help out if they see that something bad's happening. But you're not happening. supposed to. I you're... know they're not supposed to, but here's the thing. They don't have to film them helping. 